Making an offer sight unseen. Is it for you? What's up? My name is Nicole Battle, local real estate agent in Park City, Utah with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. This channel is all about real estate, lifestyle, Park City, Utah, living in Utah, moving here, helping buyers, sellers, and investors, showing you what it's like to live, work, and play. In today's video, we are talking about writing offers sight unseen. And I'm going to give you three tips that could possibly help you feel more confident putting in an offer sight unseen. First tip is get really, really familiar with the area. So that might mean if you have never been to Utah and you are an out-of-state buyer or you've never been to Park City or you've only been here a few times and you don't really feel comfortable with the areas yet, I would suggest booking a weekend trip and coming out here and really getting familiar with the areas. Sometimes you'll be priced out of a certain area and you won't even realize how great another area is. Really getting familiar with the areas and knowing where you wanna land and which neighborhoods you actually prefer and which neighborhoods are in your price range and will be best for your goals. Your goals will really dictate which area you want to land in. Getting familiar with the area. Second thing is get really familiar with a video. Find an agent who does video walkthroughs. I do video walkthroughs for all of my out-of-state buyers. I can even do 360 video tours with my Max GoPro camera. It's great because it gives you a 360 view. I can I just set the camera on the in each room, run for about five seconds, leave the room, come back, move it to the next room, and when I send the video to you, you can actually pause it and kind of move around so you can see the whole the whole space, which is really, really great. And I think it's also good to go slow with a video walkthrough. If you are not available to do a video walkthrough, I will just improvise. I will take the video myself and send it to you. Otherwise, we can schedule a time to do a FaceTime walkthrough or a Zoom walkthrough. And we can really go in the closet. What's over here? What's up there? What does this look like? What are the fixtures look like? Show me the carpet. Show me the door handle. I can get really, really detailed. I can show you the outside and the neighborhood. So getting familiar with video. Make sure you stop and like this video right now and subscribe to my channel if this is content that you enjoy. The third thing is, is Google Earth it. Get the little person, have it drop in the neighborhood and take a look around the neighborhood. A lot of times you're going to see what the house actually looks like and sometimes it will not look like the photos or the 3D tour that the agent did. Uh, and sometimes Google's pictures are really old so keep that in consideration too like it could have had a major remodel and Google just hasn't gone around and updated anything yet but when you do a little pin drop guy and you kind of pan the neighborhood and pan the area you can just Google Earth anything you can be like where are the schools are how close you are you can do really anything from Google or Earth or a map and Writing an offer sight unseen isn't for everybody. And unfortunately in this crazy, crazy time, usually the house that you want is going to be gone in the blink of an eye. So by the time you book a flight out here, get on a plane and have a showing scheduled, it's most likely going to be off the market, which is a bummer. Makes it really, really difficult to purchase a home without seeing it these days, which is why it's so, so important to do your homework up front and really get an idea for the area and a gist for the area so that you are confident with the neighborhood, you love the neighborhood, and as soon as a home that comes up in this neighborhood pops up on the MLS, you're on top of it, you've got all the paperwork done, signed all the agreements with your agent so you can just move straight forward. Also getting a pre-approval with a local lender. That is super important, especially if you're getting financing. Try not to do it with just a big national bank. The local lenders know the regulations, especially if you're doing a condo or a condo hotel. Those have very different requirements and a lot of times the big national banks aren't aware of what's happening locally and you really need that local lender's insight. If you're buying cash, make sure you have a proof of fund statement ready because you want to be the buyer that is the strongest. In if you're getting if that listing agent is getting 12 multiple offers, you want to be the buyer that stands out, the buyer that's most likely to close, the buyer that's most agreeable, to be the best buyer for the property. Financially, we need to look good. Otherwise, we need to look good. Track deadline-wise, we need to also look good. That are, those are some tips for writing an offer, sight unseen. 